two, one. Welcome back, everybody. This is Stephanie Hunter from Hamilton, New Zealand, and our gorgeous friend and informative, incredibly informative friend up in Auckland here in New Zealand, Karen Crichton. Hello, Karen. Hello. How are we all? Welcome, guys. Now, we're going to ask you to do three things before we get started today. Today is a nutritional nuggets video. I'm very excited to go through this one. It's a very interesting one, actually, one I've got a bit of a passion for. And now, before we get started, I'm going to ask you to do three, th three things. If you haven't done so already, I'm going to ask you to subscribe down below. Press the subscribe button or just, just takes one click. That's what it takes. Next door to that is a shape of a bell. Click on that. A drop down menu will appear. Click on all. So that will mean that you're now a VIP of our YouTube channel and you're going to get notifications of every time we put another nugget into here for you. Now, regarding the notifications, YouTube gets a bit funny about health videos and they go through and they keep turning off people's notifications bell about anything to do with natural health or alternative um, therapies. So do check when you pop back into the YouTube channel that you're still notified and please don't think we are ignoring you if you don't hear from us. It's probably because you've been denotified. Oh, that's a new word. I'll stick to that. I'll put that in my diary, <laughs> in my dictionary. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much. And the third thing I'm going to ask you to do is please share these videos out. Because of the lack of support from YouTube platform, they don't like natural health. They don't tend to want to share us around very much. So just click on the URL above where the video is, just up there. You see the URL. Do a right click on that, copy it, put it into your Facebook page, put it into your Twitter account, put it into your email, and mail it out to your friends and family, however you want to do it. Please share the link and share the love and let everybody become inspired and empowered to look after themselves. Okay, so that's enough of me talking about the housework science. Let's go on with this really interesting and exciting subject today, Karen, and it is iodine. Tell us all about iodine, please. Okay, iodine. You've probably heard of iodine because it's quite well known, really. And iodine as a liquid, you can put it on cuts and sores and things, and it's actually amazing disinfectant and prevention of infection. However, as a mineral, many people will think, oh, I don't need to worry about iodine. I have iodized salt. Now, if you haven't seen our video about sodium, we do talk a little bit about it on there, so I won't go on too much about it. Iodized salt is not a form of iodine that our bodies absorb terribly well. So don't necessarily take it for granted that you're going to have enough iodine if you have iodized salt. However, right, health benefits benefits of iodine. Now it helps support healthy metabolism, maintaining energy levels and actually can help up your energy levels. If you're low in it and you supplement with it, it can make a big difference. Supports hair and skin health. And um, when you're pregnant can support fetal, fetal development, providing stronger immunity and also helps with hypothyroidism prevention and also can help with treating. So, you can also, if you have fibrocystic disease, prevention of cancer, and also removing toxins and curing goitus. So goitus, when you get a lump under here where the thyroid is, it's where the thyroid expands. Iodine is an essential trace mineral that the body requires to function properly and reduce the chances of thyroid cancer and also the aforementioned problems. So, Thiodine, iodine has been um, identified for many years and much like copper is required in trace amounts. So it's only a small amount that we actually need. But the biggest problem with iodine is absorption because if we have been affected by fluoride toxicity from our water and we're low in iodine, what will happen because iodine and fluoride are very, very similar molecularly is very often in the thyroid, there are receptors where normally iodine goes. What happens is the fluoride will go in and take up the space. And so consequently, the iodine cannot be absorbed. So it's a really good idea to do a chemical detox that includes fluoride. So if you want to chat to me or, or Stephanie about that, we can easily help you with that. So. Food sources of iodine, in theory, as long as the soil has got enough iodine and there's a proviso, much like selenium here in New Zealand, iodine is also very low. So iodine, we can get from seed vegetables, so such as seaweeds and things like that, cranberries, organic yogurt, organic strawberries, raw organic cheese, not pasteurized, organic potatoes, 
eggs, salt, as long as it's real good salt, cod, Himalayan pink salt, that's what I'm talking about, good salt, shrimps, navy beans and dried prunes. Again, if there's enough in the soil where they're grown. So, as I said, you know, there's huge, huge health benefits to having enough. Now, if you want to supplement from it, um, we used to recommend Lugol's um, iodine supplement, which you can get from nearly every pharmacy health shop. The biggest problem with that is there's been quite a bit of conflict about it because iodine helps to protect you from radiation. But what's happened is, is law has actually stated that you only, only can have very low doses of iodine in Lugol's. So there's another form of iodine that you can get online and I tend to buy mine from iHerb and it's called Nascent Iodine, N-A-S-C-E-N-T Iodine. It comes in drops and it's much, much more um, absorbable than Lugol's. So it's a really, really good supplement. It actually makes it much more, it's more expensive than Lugol's, but it's more cost effective because you're actually absorbing it. So it really is amazing um, as a supplement and, or a, as a, it's actually a metal, not a, it's a mineral metal, but it's really, really a good product to protect yourself from toxicity. And so, yeah, a wonderful, wonderful mineral. That's fascinating. I knew a little bit about iodine, like I said at the early, early on in the video. It's always been a, a, a fascinating mineral for me. Um, so seaweed is a good source. I always eat a lot of, well, not always, but I often eat a lot of dry seaweed. Mm. But I'm a little bit doubtful about the seaweed nowadays because of the level of contamination in our, in our seas. So yeah. what, what alternative? I used to have seaweed as a snack, Karen. So what would you do? Oh, like, like the nori sheets and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, is a, the jury's out as to where the best um, sources are really nowadays. Himalayan salt's a good one. And so... Um, I get many of my clients who have low income or who haven't got the funds to purchase the individual minerals and stuff, is I often get them to do a sol, which is a saturated solution of Himalayan salt. And in actual fact, one day, Stephanie, we might do a video of how to do it, make a sol. Oh, you just took the words right out of my mouth. That would be fantastic yeah. because the, the, the word soul really is quite foreign to the average person who doesn't, ha, has, doesn't have a herbalist or a naturopath background. Yeah. That'd be so, fascinating to actually do that. Yeah, so it's a saturated solution. And as I say, we'll make a video in the next couple of days maybe so you can put them together. And, and so a saturated solution is basically when you have a product, a salt, a other product, and... Basically, salt is a very a great medium to absorb things into. And when the molecules of water are full, then you get left with a small amount of a remnants of, say, salt in the bottom. Then you know you have a saturated solution. So then you know how much your body needs. And with Himalayan salt, for example, if you have too much, you'll probably get diarrhea. So... That's it. So, but it's a good way of getting really good minerals in you for 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 pennies rather than mm. dollars. So we'll, we'll shoot a video directly just on Himalayan uh, pink Himalayan salt. I've actually made a record of it down here in my little yeah. to-do book because the the magic of the Himalayan salts is vastly vastly underestimated. Absolutely, it is. It's it's a brilliant brilliant salt, and it's such good value for money. Mm, agreed. Agreed. And guys, honestly, you'll start finding this when you start to learn what you actually need. You'll hear me talk about cost effectiveness more and more often as we're moving into a different world now. So mm. it's not so much the price ticket that's on the, on the bottle of what you're looking at or on the packet of what you're looking at, but take it a step further, the cost effectiveness of you investing your money and all your pennies into that product, how much you're going to get out of it, the cost effectiveness of it, okay? Now, as far as pink and Himalayan salts are concerned, it is literally one of the cheapest ways of gaining masses of benefits but we'll cover that in another video yeah let's do that or else we'll be here for days definitely
<laughs> absolutely we will be okay guys so blessings to one and all of you thank you so much once again for joining us and thank you karen for your unlimited wise information that you just so lovingly and from a heart, deep heart space sharing with all and sundry so guys remember subscribe hit the notification bell share these videos out there let's help as many people as we possibly can because you know what we're all on this planet together and we're all going to benefit from each other being healthy and wealth, uh, well, wealthy of course but healthy healthy and wise fantastic well, can I just say here, Stephanie, is the reason you said wealthy is because when we have good health, we have wealth. What is wealth without health? Seriously, we could, we, it's, it's not just about the pennies in the bank account, guys, but wealth comes in many different aspects. And if the COVID-19 experience of 2020 didn't show us that, then we missed the point. Yeah. Wealth is exponential in many, many ways. But again, that's another video for another day. <laughs> Hi today, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch us. Keep happy, keep healthy, and keep well. Blessings to one and all. Take care. Bye for now.